We're going live, live, live. Weird shows your sizzle going on. It always seems to happen now with the uh, it's live broadcast. It all goes a bit <coughs> at the beginning and then it sorts itself out, except for the ones that where the speech is out of sync with what I'm saying. It's really annoying. Anyway, let's not worry about that now. Um, yeah, we're at Mackey's. It's the second taste of America. I think this is the, uh, I think it's the Californian Ranch. That's what I put the title anyway, if I were to stream it live. Going for the meal. Evening, Dan Dan. Thank you. What's up? Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye. Bye. Right then. So we've just collected the grub. I'm a little bit worried from the fact that I think I may have messed up a little bit. Yeah, the way uh, zebra crossings work, mate, is if you uh, want to cross, you wait for the car to stop. You don't run out and from behind a bush as soon as the car is on it. Kids of today, eh? Oh, my, my space is free, that's good. So let's go with my space. So let's see what this burger is. Now, we did the last one, a little bit late to be fair. I was a little bit late to the party. It's not usual for me though. I'm never on time for anything. People said I'd be late for my own funeral. I kind of want to be late for my funeral by about 10 years, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Right, oh God, that's very strong. Right then, so what we got, we've got the uh, Ranch California chicken. I've got the wrong one, I've got the Ranch Californian again. Oh, no, I've got the wrong one. I asked, well, I asked for the new burger that's come out today and they give me the Ranch Cal... Oh, it's the wrong one. But anyway, you get the, uh, not wrong with the chip butty by the way, you get that. You get uh, a drink, standard. That is a standard drink. Remember last time I went to Burger King and I got uh, the uh, the extra large one? I mean, look at the difference in size. That is phenomenal. 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 So, yeah, I've got the wrong burger. I feel like a right dickwad. There's a new Taste of America out today and I've got the wrong one. Can I have the new one and they give me the Ranch Californian instead of the other one? Rah. Oh, well. Um, so, medium Sprite, zero. Um, Ranch California chicken and medium fries. It comes to £5.59 as opposed to £8.69 when I was at KFC the other day. So there you go, there's the receipts. Um, so yeah, this is all a bit pointless now. I might as well stop watching because I've already eaten one of these. I'm really annoyed. Really annoyed at myself. That's because I panicked and asked for something white, which is a bit weird. But anyway, you get, you get another chance to see all of these burgers, see if they're consistently good. I'll have to come back again tomorrow morning and do the, uh, the new burger. God, it's cost me a fortune, this. So there you go. You've got two pieces of chicken. They're actually in the right place today. We've got uh, lettuce, tomato, tomato at the back there. You can see it there, tomato. And we've got some bacon. And we've got Dan Dan the man watching. So let's have a, let's have a nosh. No, let's not have it, no. Moving on. So there's the, there you go. You see, it's a... Uh, it is. It is nice. To be fair, it is a nice burger. I could have. Um, I could have. I could have actually put. Uh, I could have actually got completely the wrong burger, as in, you know, like a Big Mac or something. But anyway, I'll have to come back. The um, chicken again. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. So yeah, it's a nice burger. Please know as well if you like the um, Scarborough video I did recently. Um, I've got another one for the Lake District. 
but it's only mean in 2018 there's no 1989 there Mmm. The bacon and chicken goes well. The tomato, there's just enough tomato. A bit of mayo, plenty of lettuce. The scary thing about that one, um... Oh, there you are, you're up there. The scary thing about that one, Dan, was the fact that the, um... Um, the 1989 stuff I was actually filming basically YouTube in 1989 and YouTube didn't exist in 1985 just had a Zynga box being large for £7 it didn't really fill me up wasn't even born then no most people weren't even born then Look at bacon, trying to escape. <laughs> They're in a rush to get to the drive through, aren't they? Well, the sauce isn't just mayo, it's got beechwood smoked bacon, but the, the, I don't know if you can see on there because it's quite sunny. It's got bits in, like herbs and whatever, in the uh, in the sauce. There's a bit on the side there. It's very, very nice. I'm just a bit naffed off that it's the second one anyway. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point of that uh, video from... Uh, Scarborough and the fact that you know the majority of people even people like Logan Paul And syndicate and all them they were even born in 1918 or if they were they were they were still in nappies I've done a video um, a lot of videos of me up in Cumbria, the Lake District. So I'm going to edit that together soon and put that on. Uh, but like I said, there's none of me back then. How old are you Dan now? Okay then. So you're older than I you're older now than I was then, but only by about four years. Anyway, there you go. For a meal, it's not bad. There's my uh, Burger King cup that I got the other day for my super meal. And there's the standard McDonald's one. I mean, that is hell of a difference, isn't it? Very amusing. This is 400, uh, point four, yeah, 400 milliliters. And that's 770, so it's double the size. Right. 
It's got a hole in it. That's one for the birdies. Um, KFC number one, McDonald's number two, Burger King number three. Fries wise, McDonald's number one, Burger King number two, KFC number three. Although I would say that the uh, Thingy Burger, the Bacon King, is actually a really, really good burger. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. See the drive through there, can't you? All the cars queuing up to go in the drive through. Anyway. I do apologise, I thought I was going to be reviewing the brand new lovely burger. But instead I've reviewed a burger I've already reviewed. I don't think I bought it as a meal last time though. So let's have a look. Those receipts gone. You know that. So overall, what I'm going to give it? Well, uh, it was five pound fifty nine. You get the burger, a regular drink, uh, medium fries. So for value for money, I give it a eight and a half because it's a nice burger. The the chicken one's always underrated when they bring out something like this, but in this occasion, it's actually quite nice. Just snapped off. I ordered the wrong one. Can't believe it. Do you rate Subway? Hmm. The way we thing with Subway is, when I had my first shop, I used to go to Subway every, uh, every Saturday, a little treat. That was, um, when I got my second shop, and moved, I was in walking distance, very quick walking distance, of two subways. Hmm. But I've never had one. So I've not had a subway meal since, uh, for seven years, nearly seven years. Which is insane, if you think about it. Since then, they've opened another one, so there's actually three subways in Wigan. Well, there's more if you count the ones inside petrol stations, but I don't trust them. But my main gripe with Subway is, you don't know how long they've had the stuff in the little fridge thing. Whereas with the burger, they're probably frozen or at least chilled. And then they're cooked, so they're like fresh. Whereas stuff that's like meat, that's, um, you know, like ham or chicken that's already cooked. They could have had it for a week, you don't know. I'm not saying they do. I'm sure they don't. I'm sure they have rigorous ways of making sure that they don't sell stuff that's, you know, been there for a while. But in my head, the back of my head, it's always like, mm, I don't know how long it's been there for. So that's why I don't do Subway anymore. Plus I applied for a job at Subway and I got told I was too qualified. But that was even before I used to have one every week, so I don't really care. Um, I swear what's going on with my neck. It's really sh weird shadow going on there, I think that's what it is. That's what happens when you get old. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, that's it. So I do apologise. Uh, I, I, I didn't even want to come to McDonald's today because I wasn't that hungry. So I've actually come to McDonald's and ordered the wrong burger to review it so you guys get to see a review. But I ordered the wrong one completely that I've already reviewed. So it's a waste of your time, it's a waste of my time, it's a waste of my money, it's a waste of... Well, you don't pay anything to watch these, I suppose, so that's all right. Um, but at least I get a drink. So on that bombshell, that's it. I know, I'm really fed up, Jan. I can't believe I messed up in such a huge way. See, first day of the new burger. Brand new burger comes out and I'm like, yeah, I'll review it. I'll get loads of views because everyone wants to know what this new burger's like. To be fair, I did review it last year and it's probably no different from then. And then I ordered the wrong one. So, uh, yeah, the chicken one is nice, but it's the second time I've reviewed it. Getting attacked by sugar or whatever you call them, wherever you're from. Um, but, yeah, do watch these other videos I'm doing because the one, if you, if you look at my uh, timeline, the one from Scarborough is worth a look because it's got me in 1989 doing YouTube. Bearing in mind that YouTube wasn't even a thing in 1989. Um, so please do that. Subscribe if you want. Tell your friends that some mad old man is going to be reviewing the right burger. Probably tomorrow. Uh, roughly about this time. Uh, or a bit later. Uh, and that's it then. So I'm going. I look forward to it. Thank you, Dan Dan. And uh, see you, Jan. Bran. Jan Bran. Dan Dan. It's, God, it's like being at KFC with Cody and Jody and all them. All rhyming. Who else is on? Who else was on? Yeah, you take care too. I'll see you again. Au revoir. That's French for bye-bye. Or something, I don't know. Anyway, see you again, guys and girls.